Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Warehouse. My name is Brogan and in today's video, we are gonna be doing some TA on Blur. Uh, now we did do some TA uh, a sh not too long ago, maybe a couple of days ago, uh, where I said we hit a local top and then we're gonna fall back down um, to about 50 cent, which we did, um, which was uh, quite a nice profit. Uh, what we're gonna do in this video is we are going to look at a couple time frames. Uh, the day, uh, mainly in the first one, maybe four hour, one hour, uh, and then 30 minute uh, on a more close range. Uh, kind of give an overall view on Blur, see what it's, um, you know, it's kind of indications are, if it's going to go up or down, uh, where it's going to go to, hopefully we can find that out. Uh, and I think that's about it. So if you do enjoy this video, please make sure you like, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Let's get into it. So let's have a little look at the day. So from what we can see, if we zoom in a bit, because uh, it is a relatively new coin uh, to bear in mind. So, you know, the, the time frame to go back to isn't too long on the day anyway. Obviously, in the four hour, and the one hour, 30 minute, we're going to have more to look at. Uh, but on the day, there isn't really much to look at here. Uh, it's not very interesting, apart from you know, where we are right now. So uh, let's have a look. So the money flow, we have a negative gradient on the money flow. Uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. It normally means oh, you no know, money, money on the in, which normally means a positive is coming out, which must mean money's going down, which is negative sell. Uh, we can also see by this red dot that the momentum is changing. So basically, this blue line uh, is like the the flow of this uh, momentum. So we can see this whole lighter blue line is these are these green candles uh, going upwards. Now the red line, like I said, signifies a flip or a change reversal uh, in the trend, as we can see by the red. So we are, the trend is negative. Uh, uh, well, the VWAP is also on the uh, going and is already you know ahead of money flow on the negative. So there's a lot of things indicating on the day that we're going to go down. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw our volume uh, just to see where we could be we playing at. So we've got a couple things um here so we've got one here uh, one which is coming out right now which we'll get into close range 50 cent again which is what i drew on stream last time uh, and i'll point this one out as well um so let's let's just keep these in mind uh, as we go into uh, the four hour and the one hour because i, I don't want to draw the fib actually right here there's not much to go off and it will be very uh, inaccurate when we go into the short time frames um so let's just go into them now um let me, yeah, I'll keep that there for now. So let's go on to the four hours. So we've got some other things. And as we go, as we go deep, as we go deeper, um, or on a shorter time frame, more and more and more, we will see different, you know, indications, uh, which are obviously more short-term things to play at. Um, so I think this will probably be a good time frame, which is what I did last stream to draw our Fibonacci levels uh, to see, you know, what ranges we're playing in. So I did, I did draw these two here. Uh, about 50 cents and 36 to 8 or 36 to 8. I did draw these two lines uh, on stream, but obviously, you know, as the days have gone on, uh, we do have we will have some different areas to play at. Um, so we can see here, looking very rough, similar to how the day everything's pointing a bit negative. Uh, we can see the trend reversal. So it had this dark blue. Uh, we do have a trend reversal, uh, which hasn't really done uh, too much. And we are going into green, but we have a volume uh, area uh, above us on the day anyway. Um, so it's going to be quite hard for anything positive to play out, seeing as though we have, uh, you know, somewhere to fight at. Uh, the money flow, although it be very small, and the higher, the, the, the larger the area of the money flow uh, in terms of the green or the red, uh, the more it kind of, you know, affects the price. We are very, you know, it, it does have a very small money area um, for the flow, money flow, but it is on the positive gradient. So that is always a good sign, uh, as you can see by this green candle. Uh, the money at uh, VWAP is going to the positive it was negative as we can see by this entire little play uh, starting from here around here uh it's eight o'clock on friday we can see it cross zero the vehicle cross to the zero and for this whole time being we did have positive gradient here which did play up a bit uh but it's been negative the entire time vehicle has been negative but we are very close to the zero line uh, and if we do manage to cross that alongside of the money flow going upwards it is a very positive um you know indication and the money, uh, the momentum, sorry, the momentum does look like it's about to switch to the positive. The blue, the light blue might change to a, a dark, which might, which will signify another trend reversal. Uh, however, you know, here we had a neg, we had the blue, and this is, um, you know, this is, might have a conf conflicting indication uh, that the dark blue uh, was the negative uh, trend. Now it has flipped on the zero, 
Maybe that's just a colour on the on the indicator or not. Um, but either way, we are going down, and this has been the blue um, the blue like trend indication. If this does flip, then it must mean there's a trend reversal, which would be a positive uh, trend reversal. And you can see it's kind of to it's starting to you know even out here at the bottom. It's trying it's starting to um, you know flatline the gradient's turning towards the zero. Uh, so that's always a good sign on the uh, more positive side of things. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I want to talk about here. Uh, like I said, we are pulling upwards on the shorter term, but at the same time, we do have this, um, you know, this wall which we're banging our heads on. Uh, so let's go through one hour, and this is what, you know, this is what I wanted to talk about uh, getting towards it. So these green dots uh, are local bottoms, or what it indicates is a local bottom. So there's quite a lot of local bottoms, it says, which we have seen this one be a local bottom. We hit uh, here, we, you know, we, we rounded out. Uh, I should get the pen out, actually. We rounded out here. That was an awful drawing. Hold on, let me do that again. We rounded here, uh, which is where you know, this uh, line, this um, local bottom uh, was you know, indicated. Uh, so let's get rid of that. Um, I should actually also get the volume on the one hour just to see what's going on. Yeah, so it's kind of the same story uh, with the blue line, um, with the local, like the, a very a very close um, you know, resistance level, which we have you know, fought at. Uh, more short term uh, over a couple hours, basically the start of today and Monday. Um, but we can notice here, now the momentum you can measure, uh, similar to how you do with the RSI on the price, the momentum is uh, what you can use for divergence. So we can see this is a, a higher point of momentum in terms of the gradient changing, going to a closer, uh, a lower point of momentum on the upper end. Uh, and we, as you can see here, we get the trend line. Uh, actually, I'll just, draw, I'll just draw this. So we can see, so this is where the the, um, the top or the gradient being zero at was for the momentum. Uh, and then we can draw a line like this. Uh, let's do it right here. We can see that the price, we had lower lows. Um, and this, uh, obviously this isn't really a, a, a candle, so we can't really say, but the momentum was higher in terms of where it stopped out at. So this is an indicate. this is a regular uh, bullish divergence. Um, so similar to how we, we looked at on the four hour, uh, and now two indication and the, the the closer you go down so the higher the time frame the more the indicator matters uh, so you know if you're constantly looking at the five let's say you're scalping let's say you constantly look at the five minutes you do want to kind of zoom out to the 30 minute maybe uh, to kind of just see a, an overall trend maybe even the one hour. you kind of want to see an overall trend uh, and you kind of want to see what the market's going to play out as because obviously yeah the five minute there will be indications which do work but the higher level um, time frames will kind of uh, indicate uh, and kind of control how the price will move. Uh, so you always want to look at the higher time frame. So, you know, if we just look to the one hour, four hour, oh my God, yeah, it's bearish. Oh, it's bullish, sorry, the carry on going. But the day does have all in, all in pretty much all indicators pointing downwards. Uh, so you always do want to consider that if you are, you know, going long or short over a, a couple day to, a couple day period. Um, so yeah, always bear that in mind. Now, with the money flow, we are linked to it. Money flow, um, as even the, the uh, creator of this indicator says, money flow, and a lot of people within uh, trading, money flow, you know, trumps everything. Now, we did, we do have quite a hefty negative money flow. So, how we have been going down, going down this entire period uh, from Sunday, uh, that was middle of the day. So, midday Sunday uh, till now, money flow has been negative uh, and a negative gradient. Uh, as we can see, which is just worsening as we go on. This is rounding, I don't know why, there we go. But we can kind of see it's starting to get a positive gradient here. Uh, obviously, we'll have some little peaks and like troughs here, uh, which is normal to see. Uh, it's not always going to be smooth. Uh, VWAP is in the positive, as you can see, you know, by this little area here. Actually, let me remove this line. There we go. Uh, let me move this way. There we go. So, um... Yeah, so the, the VWAP is in the positive, which is good to see, although there is an, um, it is going to a negative gradient. Money flow is also a negative gradient. So it's just basically a case of us doing this. We're going to bounce off this volume point. Um, so it's not looking very good for Blur. Um, so we've got a point of resistance where we are right now, um, which will we will bounce off a couple of times. We've got, we, we're trying, there are a lot, like I said, a lot of indications, bullish divergence, uh, different gradients going towards the positive. Obviously, money flow and VWAP, are uh, also going, to going down to the negative now, which is not a very good thing to see. Uh, but this is, I think we're going to play it like this, you know, similar, like with the money flow view. Well, I think we're going to kind of, kind of go janky like that, uh, just because of the fact that we have this uh, resistance level, which we're going to bounce off a couple times. 
Now, what's now? I would like to say oh, we don't know what's going to go on. We could break through. However, uh, what I would like to you know point out, like we said, like we had at the start of the video, on the day uh, we had negative, very negative. If you go back to it, um, so we even had a, a red, uh, like a, a triangle looking thing, a, a diamond, if you will, uh, which is an indication of of, of bearish uh, movement. The VWAP is a negative. Um, this is a clear cut, very smooth money flow. Uh, you will see money flow be smoother on the higher time frames. Money flow is very smooth uh, with a negative gradient, which is not very good to see. Trend reversal indicated by this red dot uh, and this red dot here, which should be a local uh, local top, which it's not. It's it's whatever. I think it's just kind of suggesting by this bearish diamond. Um, so it's not looking very good in terms of in that regard. Uh, we don't have we don't have any divergences uh, per se. We don't really have any other divergences, but we do have a trend reversal in terms of this line, as you can see by this blue going into the darker blue, with the red being, you know, uh, pointing that out for us. So we have a, um, so we have a trend reversal. We have, well, I've already talked about this. We have money flow. Everything is pointing downwards. So, like I said earlier, that kind of trumps all. Uh, you know, it'll get worse and worse as the time, time frames go down from the four hours to the one hour to the thirty minutes. Um, you know, things start to have less parity over the price, you know, coming through the next days. So it's not looking very good for Blur. I said this on the stream already. It's not looking very good for Blur. Um, you know, bearing in mind that I had my short and I posted this uh, in our Telegram. Uh, if you do want to go you know, check that out, uh, we do have a link in the description. You know, I had my I had my take profit here and we, we literally came right off it, which I said on stream. So, you know, uh, we obviously not financial advice. Never listen to someone online 100% of the time. Uh, but okay, I'm gonna start to you know kind of give my my price points now because I just, I just want to give a whole view on Blur. Uh, okay, I don't want to leave any uh, any you know points out anything uh, which might be very important. Uh, so now we're gonna have a really quick look at the 30 minute. Like I said, that as time frames go you know lower and lower, we've gone from the day four hour one hour now on the 30 minute. As time goes down. Uh, the parity, which is the effect which these indicators have on the overall price, start to go down. Obviously, if you're on the 30 minute and you're going to be trading, scalping possibly, go from 30 minute, 15 minute to 5 minute, and then use the 5 minute as your, um, as your, you know, what you should do currently. But always keep in mind what 30 minute might tell you. So you know, we, we could look at these price points now. Uh, you know, there's a couple here which stopped out at. So we could have this uh, as a line. So we could bounce off this, come up to here. You might want to have a high leverage, um, you know, trade in between here as it's uh, confirming. Um, but I see we bounced off it just then. So you know that's what you do if you're trading within uh, a minute time frame. If you're day trading, obviously, you know, go on to the hour, uh, hour fifteen, hour thirty, fifteen minute. Kind of have three hour points. In this video, I'm doing multiple. Um, I'm doing multiple time frames just to give an overall view on the on the, on the coin. If you want to be trading it, you know by days, by hours, uh, depending on when you see this video. Obviously, it is uh, currently, uh, if I hover over here, it's the, it's 3.24, obviously uh, time zones may vary. It's 3.24 uh, on Monday 27th. Uh, so, you know, this information will not be lasting the entirety of years to come. This isn't, you know, gospel. Um, but yeah, so on the 30 minute, you know, we do have these uh, bullish signs, which we pointed out on the on the one hour chart, we do have this trend reversal here, which has uh, kind of played out. Obviously, with thirty minute, with thirty minute and lower time frame uh, indications, if you are using something like uh, market cipher down here, you you do want a couple candles of confirmation for your indication. So, you know, if you have this uh, bullish here, um, you know, you do want maybe two candles, possibly three, of confirmation that. That is playing out uh, because you know if you just if you enter as immediately as a, a green dot shows it could actually disappear due to the fact that that the price is dancing currently. Um, but you know you wouldn't enter this long because of the fact you've already looked at the higher time frames and realised that there's a volume point right here right now. So you wouldn't long it because you just bounce off and you wouldn't get any profit. Um, so this is kind of that's kind of, that's the whole blur um, you know analysis short term on the hours which won't last as long as the day. We do have bullish. Um, however, to bear in mind, we do have this volume point which we're bouncing off multiple times. Which we're gonna, I think we're gonna do this. Come down to fifty. If we break fifty, we're gonna go come all the way down to thirty-six. Obviously, we have you know Fibonacci levels um, to kind of um, fight at. Um, and if I put a volume on the lower end, which we are at right now, oh, it's, it's actually 
appeared, which is nice. Uh, like you said, like we, like we have, we've got our 50 cent uh, price point, we've got our 36 cent price point, we've got the price point we're at right now. I think we're going to fight between 50, um, 50 cent and this 52.81 cent, uh, or 52.8 cent um, price point. Uh, it's not looking good though, like I said um, a couple minutes ago in the video. Um, I would normally say I'm not sure how it'll play out. We might bounce off, bounce through a couple times. However, the day is very bearish, so I'd, I'd lean more towards the fact that we might fall through. We, we will fall down to fifty cent regardless, but we could possibly fall through that. And if we do, we will see some, um, you know, we also see some hardship to go down. But the next price point to catch us would be thirty six cents. So, not financial advice, but if you are watching this uh, very recently as the video comes out. Um, you know, shorting would be a good idea. Oh, that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, not financial advice. I've already shorted, but I might short again. Um, but I do want to preface that with not financial advice. Never listen 100% um, to any indicator or any indication of what you see online. Always do your own research. Uh, you know, my, my, my strategies might not work for you. Your strategies might not work for me. So, yeah, that's why I want to preface that with my recommendation. Uh, but I think that's pretty much it uh, in terms of blur. On the upper end, it's, it, we do have this very hard uh, point. Uh, I'm going to be typing in my values now, though. So, my next... Uh, whoops. So, this is my upper end price. Press another button. There we go. So, on the upper end, if we do break up, uh, if we do, I mean, we probably won't because of the day uh, with its bearish signals, uh, which is, like I said, stronger parity over any other time frame. Uh, we can, you know, if we do go up, we will see 61 cents again. Uh, if we go down, which I think we, we probably will do, we will hit our 50 cents uh, down here. So, you know, now is a great time. Obviously, the video will come out. Yeah, maybe not the best time. Uh, we will come down to 50 cents. Now, the fight between 50 cents, uh, it'll be a strong fight. I will say that. However, the volume point is the sh indicated by the point of control being this red line at 49, basically 50 cents. Uh, that is, you know, it's going to be the hardest point to break regardless. So we, since we are above it, it might be very hard, but the day is very bearish. So we'll see how it plays out. Um, but if we do break down, possibly, oh, we always have the potential to break down. We will go to 36 or no, 30, uh, where about is this? 3628. Uh, 3628. We will come down to this price point eventually, which is where we were kind of at beforehand, uh, before everything, you know, really pumped. So... Either way, we are going to come down uh, on the day. It's very very bearish. We will come down. Could possibly see face six cents again. Um, but yeah, so I'd get my shorts in. Not financial advice. Long term day. Let's go back to it. Uh, we could very well see it. Uh, you know, because like down here, thirty six two eight. It's just as strong as fifty. We've got a lot of bearish signals. Even even a red dot's got appeared as well, uh, which I said earlier, which is the trend reversal. So we could see 36 cents, um, but like I said, 50 cents is very strong. So yeah, that's about it for Blur. So thank you very much for watching my TA video. Hopefully you did enjoy. Hopefully it was helpful. Uh, hopefully, I, I hope I give an overall kind of opinion and indication of where Blur is going in the future. Uh, like I said, none of this is financial advice. Uh, I don't I don't do you know wills. You know everything is would should could. Um, you know, none of this is in setting stone. You know, you can't, you don't, I don't have a glass ball. I can't predict 100% what the price is going to go to, but I can use as many tools as I can to kind of give you, um, you know, a kind of, as sure as I can, opinion of where the price will go. Uh, a bit, a Bitcoin TA video might be coming out, you know, very soon, just after this video might come out. Um, it might already be out, I'm not too sure. Do make sure you go watch that. Uh, and the last I'll ask of you is please subscribe, turn notifications on, like the video, uh, and comment what you think. Comment what you think of Blair, what do you think of my TA, um, and yeah, catch us on the streams as well. But thank you for watching, see you soon, goodbye.